or image with a password. First of all, you need a file to protect. Now this could be a document, a spreadsheet, an image. In this case it's an image file. And the first step is to right click on your image and get a public link. Now in your sharing settings you're going to double check and make sure that this file is share with others. Anyone with a link can view that that is turned on. So in this case it's turned on and I now copy that link. This link is now in my clipboard. Let's forget about that for now and create a form. Now as I said before we're going to use the power of Google Forms to protect our file with a password. Now the first thing you'll want to do is name your form. So in this case I'm going to call this my secret file. And as a description you can put anything you want. Now this question I'm going to change this. I'm going to use a short answer question and it will be what is the password? Now I am going to make this a required question and I'm going to select data validation. Now that means that I will check the answer. Now this will have to be text and it has to contain the following text. Now my password for the sake of this demo will be secret. Now the error text, very important, will be no, try again. Now, if you forget to put an error text here, there is a possibility your password will show up. So make sure that you've put something here. This is what the viewer will see in case he inputs the wrong password. So, that's all you have to do. Next, you're going to scroll up. And you're going to go to your form settings. Now, in your form settings, you're going to select can submit only one response if you want your users to only try once or if you want to leave it open you can leave this blank now remember that link that we've sent to our clipboard that link will go down here a confirmation page now the people will only see this confirmation page if and when they get the password correct so I can now type you will find your file here and paste that link. I am now going to untick this and save. We can now view and preview what this form will look like. So let's have a look. Preview this form. Okay, my secret file. What is the password? And let's just type in a random string. And it says no, try again. So now let's type in the correct password, secret. I am now able to click on submit and I get my confirmation page which says you will find your file here when I click this I am redirected to the file that I have protected I hope this was helpful if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below